Oh, there you go. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. It's not. What the f oh, nope. Finally. I'll stand just like a statue, just like you, acting like the sky's just about to fall. Hello everybody, welcome back, and it's Hello P here, and <laughs> guys, it's been a while, I haven't seen y'all in like a couple weeks, about almost a month, but anyways guys, <laughs> after many months, we hit 300 subscribers. Like literally, when I came back in February, like in early 2018, I didn't expect to reach 200 subscribers that quickly. And it just made me so happy that just when I come back to YouTube, I get that big of a surprise. But after a long, bumpy road, we finally reached 300. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about basically how I got into YouTube and just Let's Playing and just also how Nintendo Lapeer basically become... And how Nintendo Lapeer became unnamed overall, just a thing. And also how the name is pronounced. Because guys, listen, it's Nintendo Lapeer. Not Nintendo Lapeer. It's Nintendo La Pier. Say it fast. Nintendo La Pier. Easy. So hopefully that's how it's pronounced, okay? Now, of course, it isn't really like something major like how I did for 200 subscribers, which I did like a top 10 list. But it's something I wanted to do. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So to start off, I cannot believe 2009 is already 10 years ago. But anyways, during this time, I remember my brother searching on YouTube NASCAR videos. And it was these videos of these toy cars racing. And, and honestly, it interested me myself. And I decided to watch a few of these videos. And then Paul Menard, uh, Menard, excuse me, and Dale Earnhardt. But then I decided to look into my own interest, which was, of course, Nintendo. So I looked up Mario videos, and the first few videos I found were these 16 star speedrun task video, which was way before I knew what speedrunning was or even was interested in speedrunning. Then I also found this video called Super Mario Frustration, which was basically a video of a custom made Super Mario Brothers level where it was made to make the player rage. All right, Nintendo, we're gonna do this. We're gonna play this video game. You and me, Mario. We're gonna go find the princess. She's gonna be grateful. She's gonna she's gonna give you a kiss. And for next thing you know, you're gonna get laid tonight. All right? So let's do this. Okay? Let's do this. Let's start this shit up. World one one. I'm ready. Okay. And we're gonna. What the. F and I also found this little series called Stupid Mario Brothers. But I found this one video called Mario and Luigi Stupid and Dumb Adventures Episode 2, which soon made me fall in love with this YouTuber called Super Mario Logan. When I found that video, it made me really get into a genre of videos that I really enjoyed, hence being Mario plush videos. Now besides Logan, I also really enjoyed some other Mario plush content creators, such as Mario Mario 899, which at the time was Cute Mario Brothers, and Stash Bros. Now also the other reason why I really loved Logan's content was because I realized me and him had the same Luigi plush. Now I'm not talking about the Mario Party 5 Luigi plush, I'm actually talking about the Kelly Toy Luigi plush which was named on his channel Mama Luigi, which coincidentally was my favorite character on his channel. Now, it was not because we had the same plush, it was just because I really loved the character that he created along with Ziyoshi Man or Zeke, which who also played the character. But to be honest, I didn't really watch much of Logan because I remember back then he had this phase where he didn't really upload it as much, and the same with Stash Bros and CMB. So aside with Mario plush videos, I also found my very first Let's Player accidentally during this time as well, which is actually mentioned in my top 10 best Let's Players list, which I highly recommend to go check out. His name was Super Skarmory, and I found it because of his Super Mario 64 DS walkthrough. Oh dear god, he's back! and he called his Let's Plays walkthroughs. But actually back then, many Let's Players either called their video series Let's Plays or walkthroughs. But honestly, it doesn't matter. They're both the same thing besides Let's Play. I re honestly, I really don't know. <laughs> now to get back into the Mario plush thing, honestly, after seeing many Mario plush videos by these creators, it inspired me to actually make my own little ventures. Now, I never filmed them since I never had a camera growing up, but I would just play with my Mario plushes and just use my imagination. Heck, I would even waste my parents' money and ask them to buy me many Mario plushes. But anyway, my brother got me to YouTube and this is how my love for YouTube got started. 
So one day in the summer of 2012, I was watching YouTube on this little mini Acer laptop my mom had at the time, and I was really bored, so I decided to watch a Let's Play of Majora's Mask. Now, at the time, I only watched Sugar Connery and Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play of it, so I wanted to find another Let's Play by someone. And after scrolling down the page, I found this one Let's Play by someone that I'd never really heard of, and his name was Attacking Toucans, and I watched the first part of its Let's Play, and I honestly really enjoyed it. Yes, Majora's Mask, my favorite Zelda game of all time. And I know there's gonna be those, like, fanboys that are like, Attacking Toucans! Ocarina of Time is so much better, but I don't care what you think. Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game, and I'm playing it. Now, of course, at the time, I did not have a YouTube channel, so if I got bored of watching a video, I'd have to remember what part I was watching. And if, But if you had an iPod in 2012, actually, you could use the built-in YouTube app, and you could add the video to your favorites. But, anyways, I had something else in mind. So, I went to my fridge, and I got a piece of paper, and I would write down the parts I would watch. And for each part I would watch, I would write it down on a piece of paper, hence creating something called watching LPs. Now, yeah, obviously, everyone has watched Let's Plays before, but I wanted to do my own little special thing. Basically, what I did was I pretended to be a reaction YouTuber before reaction channels were a big thing. And I basically pretended to have a YouTube channel called the Nintendo Watching Let's Player. But then, of course, I thought the name was very long, so I decided to change it to Nintendo Watching LP. Here. But in 2013, I finally changed it to the name you all know and love, Nintendo Lapeer. So I did these books until 2015. Like, I have a full, literally, stack of them right here. There's literally, I would say, around 40 of these. And like for for example, this is the Majora's Mask one right here. And honestly, these if I did not do this, and yeah, I know it's very weird, but if I honestly did not do this, I would not be the Let's Player I would be today. And honestly, I wouldn't be introduced to so many games. Now between 2012 and 2013, nothing really interesting happened besides in 2013 getting into Minecraft. And actually, I remember I actually did a series of vlogs back in 2013, but I saved them onto that little mini Acer laptop, and honestly, I don't know where it is, but hey, maybe if one day if I find it, then hopefully we can actually react to them at some point. But other than that, nothing really interesting happened until 2014. <laughs> So I decided to take a trip to the city and for some reason the train dropped me off here at this purple city. Oh yeah, speaking of a purple city, me and three other friends, Frankie Tomasi TV, Vladikus, and Amal XO host this podcast called The Reaction Podcast, or better called TRP. We host the podcast over at Frankie's channel and we stream it between 11am and 3pm every Saturday. And I've been doing this podcast now for three years and I honestly really enjoy doing it and I highly recommend you guys go watch it and check it out. And now... For 2014. Now, 2014 was a pretty big year for me, and a lot of things changed. Um, I was slowly losing interest in Nintendo, and I was finding other interests such as Minecraft, and later in the year, Five Nights at Freddy's. But through all, all those years, the one thing that stuck with me was Super Mario Logan. Now, I remember in 2012, Logan started to slowly upload again, and basically in 2014, he came back to uploading videos, and I remember watching them, and I really enjoyed them. <laughs> I remember all those long nights being on his Facebook fan page waiting for another upload, and I was still a big fan of Mama Luigi. Like, I remember having my Facebook profile picture of him at some point, and it was just because I couldn't let go of the past of his old videos, and plus, he was still my favorite character. But then one day, I was in one of those comment sections, and Logan mentioned about an upload being late, and for fun in the comment section i decided to flex my mom luigi plush i had and i don't remember the full comment thread but i do remember this one person with an old lady profile picture replying to some of my comments but i remember replying to him with a picture of a goomba with a mustache and a not so pg thing on his face and that person turned out to be my best friend frankie tomastic tv which i remember he tried adding me on that day but i declined because at the time i didn't want to really talk to random strangers on facebook but he sent another request and i honestly didn't really care so i accepted and now i could talk about the history between me and him but on his channel he made a documentary called the dark side antenna appear which basically talked Talks about all of my past mistakes. I got banned from Minecraft. You were the most annoying person I ever had. Yeah, I'm sorry. For <laughs> sake, I don't put out the smallest things. Out the Shokopa! Is this the official Nintendo Lapeer? No, you're a single word. And Skype's gonna crash. 
So if you want to hear the story about all that, you can go check out his video. It'll be in the links down below. And honestly, it's a very well-made documentary. But actually, around the time when I met him, I actually made a Vine account, which by the way, if you do not know what Vine is, it was a platform that people could create six second videos and upload them. Now you're probably thinking, how were you allowed to make a Vine account, but not a YouTube account? Well, I basically did what every kid did at some point, not ask and just do whatever. And if you possibly want to see these Vines, if we reach 400 subscribers, I will react to my old Vines and uh, I'm probably gonna regret it, but hey, it's for content. But anyways, I remember this one conversation me and Frankie had, and I was telling him how excited I was that I was gonna be finally making a YouTube channel in 2015, because I was finally given that okay in 2015 I was gonna get a channel. But then when I told him I was gonna name my channel Nintendo Lapeer, but then he was very blunt with me about this, and he straight up told me that I could not use that name and that someone else was using it. And of course, I was very sad because I've been using that name since 2012, so I was like, you know what, I'll change it to Nintendo Plush up here. So at the time, throughout those two years, I went through so many names and I'm changing my name again. Heck, even in early 2015 videos that I made that I never intended to upload at all and just made for fun, for fun, <laughs> for fun, I literally called myself that. Hello everybody, Nintendo Plush up here. And hey guys, Nintendo Plush up here and welcome to a new Sky Wars video. Hello everybody, Nintendo Plush up here and welcome to the second episode of Minecraft. But as 2014 ended and many things occurred, I ditched my friends from <laughs> to my friends for some other <laughs> to my friends or some other friends and kind of focused on Vine. But as 2015 rolled in and as time went on, I had my ups and downs. But finally, the month of December. <laughs> Ugh, so I just got back from my trip from the city, and honestly, it was very tiring and ridiculous, so I'm just gonna chill here behind my desk on my chilling with the pier set. And oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, I stream on my own sometimes without those three bozos. I do my own stream called Chilling with a Pier, where I play games or just do chill streams where I talk with chat. Now, at the moment, I do not have a coherent streaming schedule. My schedule is streaming two times a month on random days. So, guys, make sure you have that notification on. So hopefully in the future, I will have a better PC so I can stream more and do more things. But anyways, now I'm going to be honest, in my last two years of elementary school, I really wasn't the greatest kid. Like, I had this weird pattern of like one year I'd be like an angel and not get any trouble. Then like the next year I would completely fall off and I would just get into all sorts of trouble. But in fifth and sixth grade, it basically went all downhill and I went full degenerate and I didn't really care much about my work. So in early December, me and my guidance counselor made a decision along with my wonderful mother that for a week, if I did not get into any trouble and did all my work, I could have a YouTube channel. And honestly, if we didn't do this, I probably wouldn't even have a channel until like 2017. But anyways, finally the day arrived, December 15th. And I finally, after so many years, I finally got my YouTube channel. And that is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye No, I'm just joking. I didn't want to end it with me just creating my channel. As you saw, the year 2016 is included because I wanted to talk about my content from that year because honestly, it's very different from today. To start off, literally my banner when I first made my channel, like I'll give myself credit. I had Mario Link on there, which is completely Nintendo. But then it literally had Steve and Golden Fredbear, which is definitely related to Nintendo. Now, my first channel icon was my Minecraft skin, but I can honestly give myself that because honestly, it tr it's transformed into something of my own, actually, which I'm really proud of. But now let's take a look at my first three Let's Plays, which come from that year. Um, Emily is Away, which is a free Steam game that is actually pretty good, and I highly recommend you guys go check it out. Among the Sleep, which is my second worst Let's Play on this channel because it's a lag fest. And in first place, it's Super Mario World for <laughs> obvious reasons. Then last, Creepypasta Land, which is still one of my favorites to this day, and I just love this game, and I'm honestly pretty proud of this Let's Play. Now, besides Let's Play, I've also played a lot of one-off PC games as well that you've probably seen Markiplier, Luigi Kid, or Cory Kinchin play at that time. Also, in 2016, I also started one of my channel's most popular series, the Commentary Series. Originally, in the beginning, I never intended making commentary videos at all, but in 2016, Leafy made the commentary genre very popular, and I decided to try it out with my first commentary video, Keemstar vs. Pyro Cynical. I'll stand just like a statue, just like you, acting like the sky's just about Hey guys, it's Lippy here. Today we talk about the drama between Keemstar and Pyro Cynical. Now I'm not heading on any of these YouTubers. I really like drama and I also like Pyro's videos. I'm just giving my main opinion. And after 2016, I actually stopped making commentary videos on YouTube drama because I just didn't feel like making videos on 
other people's problems. But this sparked a spark for one of my most popular series on my channel, and I'm very proud of it. So in 2020, the only thing that stuck around was the commentary series, because other than that, I don't play random PC games anymore, and I actually do what my name states. Let's play Nintendo games. So now, we're in 2020. As of this time I'm currently recording this, I currently have 331 subscribers, and a lot has changed since I filmed that beginning bit from 2019. Um, I used to have green Krakens, but those broke, and now I have these black ones, which ironically, um, they're actually broke as well, because you can tell there's no cord in them at all. So like, <laughs> it's two days before this, I actually broke them, but, and also I have a new chair, um, a new mic, but other than that, um, nothing has really changed, and just, again, I'm glad that finally after so many years, I can finally do what I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. Again, thank you all for 300 subscribers. Like honestly, I'm very happy that I have this amount of subs and plus, and again, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for this video for being a year in the making. Um, Again, I had to, I had to push this video aside so many times because I had to prioritize so many other videos I had to get done first. And just this video had to take a while. And sadly, like honestly, I could have gotten this done a lot earlier, but again, just things got in the way and just other videos had to get done again. So, and plus I'm probably gonna be making like a part two to this video in the future when I have like a higher sub count and everything which i don't know when that will be but not it's definitely not a thousand subs i don't even know what i'm gonna do for a thousand subs but other than that um i really don't know what else to say um you can follow me oh yeah by the way as i'm probably gonna upload this video um it's i think it's gonna be on the 13th yeah um yesterday is gonna be it was etika's birthday so i'm um, desmond Happy birthday. And also, yeah, happy birthday, Pokimane. But other than that, um, you can follow me on Twitter. Links will be down below. And also, you can join my Discord server, which, again, links will also be down there for that. And let's get to 400 subscribers, guys, because I know we can do it. And should I do it? Yeah, um, I'll see you beautiful sons again next time. Bye-bye.